In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use a drop down box to control the values shown on the category axis of a bar chart. So here's the data set that we're working with. We've got four columns, field, well, production date, and then production value, which we're showing in barrels of oil per day. And you can see that some of these wells are associated with field one, and some of the wells are associated with field two. So if we want to, to chart the production for the different fields or for the different wells, we can use a bar chart. Now I might want to show field on the category axis, or I might want to be able to show well on the category axis, but I, I don't want the user to have to click on this and, and be distracted by the other options. I just want to have two options, weld or field. So we can control the category axis using a property control or a, a dropdown. So in order to do that, click new text area and that creates a text box. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller so it doesn't take up too much room. And we're gonna use a property control. So that's uh, this little icon here. So if you hover over it, you see the tooltip that says insert property control. Click on that and you get a drop down with a few different options. So we're gonna use a drop down list. So click on drop down list and that brings up the property controls box. So we need to create a new property control. So click new and we'll give this property a name. So it can be whatever name you want, just no spaces and no special characters. So we'll call it well or field. And we'll leave the data type as string since we're choosing between two different strings, well or field. And we'll click okay. Now there's a few different options to set the property value through. So you can do the column selection, you can choose unique values in a column or a few different options. So since we have two different columns that we're trying to, to choose between, we'll do column selection. And you see that it brings up all of the columns in our data table, but we only want to show two of these columns. So we're going to click select columns. So this brings up another menu where you can add specific columns into this drop down but you can see that these these are grayed out uh, and the reason why is we have to we have to create a new column property to tell spotfire which columns to pull in so i'll click new and you can call this again whatever you want no spaces no special characters so i'll call this let's call it well or field column and you can see that the data type is boolean so it's either a one or a zero. So type zero into this box. If you put in one, it's gonna automatically pull in all four of these columns. And anytime you add a new column to your analysis, like a calculated column or importing a new column, it's gonna also pull that column into the property control. And we probably don't want that to happen because we only wanna choose field or well. So I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna type in zero, click okay. And then we can add both of these fields. So click on the box click add, click on the next one, and click add. So we got field and well. Now we say okay, and you can see that this list at the bottom updates to only have these two columns shown. And if you like, you can have a none or alternative, uh, but for this example, it doesn't really make sense to have none. So we'll say okay. So you can see that we've got this box, um, but I can't do anything with it right now because the text area is still active. So I'll click out of it. And now when we try to we go back in here, we can click this and we, we see this drop down with field and well. So you can go back and forth between field or well, but at this point, the drop down list isn't doing anything because we haven't assigned that property to anything within Spotfire. So we'll do that next. Right click on the category axis selector and we're gonna say set from property. So click that and it brings up this menu. And since we only have one property created for this field, uh, it's, it's the one that we just created well or field. Select that and then say, okay. And now you can see that once you set it as a property, you don't have the option uh, to change it from here. So we can, we can right click and, and set from a different property if we wanted to, or we can remove it. Um, but as soon as you set it from a property, it doesn't give you the option to add any more columns to the category axis. So now you can see that we, we have field down here and we have field selected in our drop down. So if we want, we can change this to well and the chart dynamically updates to show 
the, the six different wells.